So in the quarterfinal, the USA faces Argentina, two-time World Cup champions. One of those championships was led by Diego Maradona, who is managing Argentina in South Africa. And his heir apparent is definitely number 10, Lionel Messi, who's playing up front with Carlos Tevez. The U.S. is going with the same lineup and formation that's brought them to this point. Early in the match, the U.S. is looking to take the lead. Donovan, he's going to dribble in toward the center and shoot on goal, but Andijar is able to make the save. His later corner kick somehow bounces inside the six-yard box. Dempsey later is going to somehow get a great chance to score from inside the six-yard box, but he's not able to make contact. Later in the first half, Donovan running down the left side. He finds Ching, who finds Dempsey. The ball ends up at Ching's feet, but he's not able to beat Anjar. Despite being all alone, one-on-one. -on -one. Now it's stoppage time of the first half. Donovan sends a through ball to Ching. He's fending off Di Michaelis. He's going to have a clear shot on goal, but once again, Anjar is able to make the save. Fast forwarding to the second half. Messi and Ching come off for their respective teams. Out the door, sidesteps two Argentinian players, but his shot is wide. Later, Donovan wins the ball at midfield. The U.S. is on the counterattack, hoping to catch Argentina off guard. Di Michaelis loses concentration temporarily, but he recovers just enough to throw off Donovan. Later, Milito, the striker who's come on in place of Messi, he's going to partner up with Tevez. Tevez is going to dribble toward the left touchline. And then look for Milito with the cross. Bocanegra, the captain, heads it to safety, and Howard grabs it. In the first half of extra time, Argentina threatening, but once again, USA's captain, Bocanegra, heads it to safety. Bradley leads the counterattack. He sends a lob through pass. And that gives Dempsey a breakaway. He's in all alone, but he's kind of at an angle. Nonetheless, that was a great chance for the U.S. Here's a corner kick. It's cleared outside of the box, but Tevez recovers. He loses it to Bradley, who loses it in turn. Heinz finds the net. Who's in all alone, but Howard steps up. To make the save. In the final play of extra time. Here's a corner kick. It's cleared. Tevez gets it. He shoots on target. Low. Almost beating Howard. And we go to penalty kicks. Melito is the first shooter. He's in place of Messi. Messi might have converted that attempt. Panenka by Melito is not able to get under crossbar. Donovan, first shooter for the U.S., converts. Tevez, next shooter. He shoots it straight at Howard. Bradley, the coach's son, he's up next. He beats Anajar. Zanetti also shoots the ball straight at Howard. Outdoor has a chance to seal it for the U.S., but he shoots it straight at Anajar. Cambiasso, who did not play in real life in this tournament, must score, but he inexplicably shoots the ball straight at Howard as well. So the four Argentine shooters had a failed Panenka and then three shots directly at Howard. Nonetheless, the U.S. is facing Spain in the semifinal. Obviously, Spain is the overwhelming favorite as the number one ranked team in the world. But the U.S. has beaten Sp Spain in the year before in South Africa at the 2009 Confederations Cup, using pretty much the same lineups for both teams. But obviously, the stakes are much higher this time around. Early in the match, Spain has a throw in in the attacking third, but Ching wins the ball for the U.S. They're trying to catch Spain off guard. 
MC is not able to fend off Puyo, who clears the ball to safety. Minutes later, the U.S. is in the final third. Bradley is fouled just outside of the box. But Donovan's free kick attempt is well over the crossbar. On the other end, Spain has a quick free kick. David Villa shoots on target, but Howard is in great position to knock it away. Later in the first half, Bradley loses the ball. Ching with the shot. Casillas makes a save. Puyo clears it temporarily. Bradley gets the ball back, but he beats Puyo and Casillas to give the USA a 1-0 lead. His left foot shot in the 37th minute is his first goal of the tournament. Here we are in the second half. Torres looking to equalize, but his shot is off target. Spain with the corner kick toward the near post. Bradley heads it clear of the box. David Villa shoots, but it's blocked. Two Spanish players stumble over the ball. Donovan collects it. He loses the ball, but Ching sends a forward pass to Donovan. He's in all alone down the middle. But he cannot beat Casillas, who comes to challenge at just the right time. Now Ching loses the ball at midfield to PK. He sends a pass into Torres. Ornstein stands his ground and he blocks the shot attempt. Later there's a corner kick for Spain. Ramos with a great header near post but Howard knocks it clear. Ramos with another attempt on goal but it's blocked by the US. And that is the last best chance for Spain. U.S. wins one nail to go to the final. Playing for the ultimate prize in international soccer facing France. Winners of the 1998 World Cup and the finalists in the prior World Cup. To the one in South Africa. So the U.S has made history by making it to the final, but they're not just happy to be here. They're looking to win. France, with a 4-2-3-1 formation, Ribéry is not in the starting lineup, possibly because of injury. The U.S. has had issues with finishing, especially in one-on-one -on -one situations, but they're going with the tried-and-true lineup in formation. The commentators acknowledging the historic achievement of the U.S. team. Minutes into the match, the U.S. wins the ball midfield. Donovan in on a breakaway from a through pass by Clark, but he cannot beat Larice. He is pumped. On the ensuing corner kick, it's a pretty poor attempt by Donovan. It's easily intercepted by France. As a team, the U.S. is not able to defend and tackle, win back the ball. Bradley commits a foul, but the referee plays advantage. Clark not able to win the ball from Gurkov, who finds Gignac inside the six-yard box. He is able to beat Howard at the keeper's near pose. Bradley disappointed. A failed breakaway at one end, and then conceded goal at the other just a few minutes apart. Howard beaten to his right at the near post. Minutes later the U.S. wins the ball in the final third. Ching is going to dribble toward the center and shoot but his attempt is straight at Larice. Henri on the left side he is going to cross it in toward Anelka, but Howard saves his attempt. Later, they have a left corner kick. Evra sidesteps three players, finds Gignac once again. He dribbles toward the left. And once again, he beats Howard to the keeper's right at the near post near the edge of the six yard box like 
later the US not giving up. Ching beats Gallus. He's fouled from behind. Referee calls a foul. No card though. In the second half, Clark, who's had a great tournament overall, loses the ball at midfield. Diara with the through ball looking for Benzema. Howard, for some reason, doesn't play it. He just knocks it to Benzema, who has come on as a substitute in the second half. The young striker is able to beat Howard. Once again, Howard is beaten to his right at his near post. He could have picked up the ball or kicked it, but he gifted that ball to Benzema, who knocks it in. Bacanegra, Team USA's captain, can only watch the ball go past him into the open net. The U.S. is looking to get onto the board at least, playing for pride. Ching's first time shot is straight at Larice, and that is the final result, 3-0. An anticlimactic loss in the final. Very disappointing. France with their second, what would have been their second World Cup title. The U.S. has definitely overachieved by making it to the final and finishing as the runner-up. Beating Argentina, rank number eight, and then Spain, rank number one. Uh, route to the final facing another top 10 team in France Spain going on to win the third place game against Brazil Iniesta, Kaká, Diarra are the joint top scorers with four goals apiece and here are the results for the knockout exchanges Very disappointing. The USA made to the final by only scoring four goals, led by Tim Howard, who is named to the All-Star team in spite of his questionable decisions in the final. He is the only US representative on the MasterCard All-Star team. So the USA is not a powerhouse in real life. I don't think we'll see them in the final in my lifetime, but I expect him to see, see them at the next World Cup in 2022.